TI Fresh Rolled Rosado. Hey everybody, I'm okay, and this is a Cigar Vlog. So, uh, yeah, once again, this is actually not a repeat. I know I already did a CI Fresh Roll, but that was, I believe, a Connecticut? I don't know, something like that. It was a lighter wrapper. This is the Rosado, and I kind of screwed up the roll on that. But it's a Rosado, so it's got a little bit darker color wrapper to it. So hopefully that means it'll have good flavor. I'm not going to lie, I've been uh, kind of smoking a bunch of these because these are the CI Fresh Rolled. They're about $70 in the catalog from Cigars International. You got 40 of them. So basically, yeah, you buy a whole of these, and, uh, well, you're going to be smoking them for a while. Come on now. Got a rather interesting set of flavors straight away. A bit clean tobacco, touch of sweet. Also, I want to say something strangely meaty, but not in a bad way. Yeah, there's kind of light, sweet, cedary note to it. All right, decent start. All I gotta do now is uh, fix my uh, poo bar light and uh, I'll get back to the inch point. All right, so about an inch in, a little bit of wind noise. Sorry, nothing I can do about that. Uh, yeah, so far, basically, uh, so it's weakness, a little bit of weakness, kind of cedary note. And something I can't quite put my finger on. Like I said, something started off being almost meaty, but like not in like a really weird way, you know? Like, kind of like somebody was like cooking on a grill. That kind of meaty note. <laughs> kind of interesting. Anyway, this is kind of shaping up to be one of those cigars that, um, not exactly the most descript flavor, but it is there. And I'm hoping this is going to end up kind of building up to some point, and actually kind of developing a little bit more personality. That's it. For the price. Kind of hard to do worse than that. Kind of hard to do uh, too much better than these for the price, you know, you mean it's like, 70 bucks, you get 40. I mean, that's a lot of cigars, it really is. So, uh, yeah, if you end up seeing like a couple of weird gaming videos or like oddball Reddit commentaries, uh, well, you'll know what happened. I have 40 of these. So, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and smoke this down to the halfway point and see if it wakes up. Okay, ducks, this looks like a pretty good halfway point. Ash just decided to fall off. So, for a quick word about the construction, uh, these are actually constructed fairly well. No large veins, good, nice big double cap on them. But if you start seeing little cracks in here, uh, this is because uh, I did not store this particularly well. I uh, kind of grabbed it right before I ran out the door, thought it felt a little dry, made a quick check of my humidifiers, and yep, bone dry. So uh, yeah, there's a reason why you store these properly, which I did not do. As you can see, it's a little cracky. That's my fault. The actual construction of these is actually very, very good. Flavor-wise, it's been kind of sweet, a little earthy. A little bit of a uh, woody, cedary note. I'm going to say that maybe these should probably sit in your humidor for a couple of months and age for a little bit first, because every so often I get something that kind of reminds me of diesel. I don't mean diesel cigars, I mean like street corner downtown Denver on a rainy morning, bus shows up and farts out the blackness. You know? <laughs> Diesel, you know, it's just, there's, there's something odd in it. pretty much the, you know puffs after like the first inch or so, but it's weird because it dies down really quickly. You, you might occasionally get that once in a, every just random several puffs. Yeah, there's something about these that 
kind of makes you feel like maybe these weren't quite ripe. Uh, or fully ripened, you know? And that's kind of a weird way to put it for a cigar, but you know, that's kind of the, probably the best way I can put it. It's just they, they need uh, a little bit of time in the humidor just to kind of age and mellow a little bit out. Otherwise, for the money, I mean, kind of hard to beat. Yeah, there's a, I want to say slight, co slight coffee. There's a nice sweet note, a little earthiness, every song kind of a cedary woody note. Pretty much your classic cigar. Nice aroma. Yeah, so far, not bad. You just gotta watch out every so often you get that one puff that's just like, you know, what the? Yeah. Whew. I can lie, it is a lot hotter out here than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Of course, I'm also standing in direct sunlight, and that's just horrible for skin, so. Well, anyway, I'm running out of things to say, and I'm trying to avoid having the sun, like, nail me. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, smoke this down in the nub and give a final update from there. Alright, it says this makes for a pretty good point to wrap up. The flavor so far has been fairly consistent. Plus, it's getting down to that point where uh, flavors are kind of starting to wash out and you're just getting hot tobacco. And hot. And yeah, basic flavors overall have been uh, fairly, a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of cedary woodiness, a little earthiness, and just a little bit of kind of diesel fuel when you start it. And if you don't get a good solid puff on it, you might get a little out of it. Overall though, I'd say these probably need maybe a couple of months of aging in the humidor before you start really tearing into them. But, that said, for the price, for an April date, these are kind of hard to beat. Typical price of just maybe like a hair more than you would pay for a standard box of 20 and you get double the amount. I mean, you gotta admit, it's a tough act to follow. <laughs> that said though, Pretty much uh, your standard basic cigar. Yeah, a little sweet. Nothing too uh, over the top. Not really something you're going to be making a conversation about, but uh, it kind of is what it is, you know? It's designed to be a cheapo that does not suck. And it definitely does not suck. So for an everyday, I can definitely recommend them. Uh, as far as drink pairings, typical whiskey. Maybe a coffee. You know, just your standard cigar drinks. Beyond that, though, not much else to say, other than the fact that I got the sun blazing in my eyes and I'm not entirely too sure where to stand. I get good lighting, like a wind, and not end up going blind because the sun is like right at that right level. It just likes to, hmm. Anyway. Like I said, there's not much else to say about this one. It's kind of just your simple basic cigar. Good for what it is. Makes for an excellent everyday. Especially because you get so many of them. That's probably the biggest thing about these is how many of them you get. This big old Cuban wheel of just like big 40, just... Yeah, you're going to be uh, burning through these for a while. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, if you happen to see a couple of weird videos show up, uh, that's why. Well, anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say for this one. If you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know if you had a different experience or if there's anything you want to see reviewed. I'm kind of uh, running out of things to review. Beyond that, catch my Twitch stream. It's uh, I've currently gone ahead and expanded my actual Twitch broadcast to. Uh, I was gonna go five days a week, but I can't help it. It's like I have to go and do something on Friday because it just feels weird not to. So it ends up being Sunday through Friday, <laughs> midnight to two a.m. Whew. Anywho, that's pretty much all I got for this one. I'll see you next time.